UFC Fight Night, Kenania taking on Vittori Marvin, Italy taking on United States of America. And what I, what I would say is what a excellent fight. Let's go downhill. Why on earth was it at the apex? Were you a C? Why are you being so damn chief? It, it's silly, man. It's silly. Uh, uh, I'm getting really annoyed. The crowd deserved. I think the fighters would they have fought any differently. I think potentially with that buzz and everything that's going on, a um, couple, I don't know, a hundred odd people, however many can fit in there. It's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. Besides that, it was an excellent performance from both gentlemen. Um, Marvin Vittori, at some point in the early first and second round, looked like the damn hunchback of Notre Dame. The bells. The bells. He is tough, man. He was getting whacked up in his head. He was pretty bloody. Not crazy. After the end of the uh, 241 significant strikes landed. Uh, creating and cementing Jared Cannon into history books. <laughs> My God, that was a back and forth. Um, uh, Mr. Marvin, he was no punk. He was still doing his thing. He was trying every, you know, he was getting pieced up, but showed grit and determination. I think maybe if Cannon went to the body, I think if he, if he would have invested more in the body, because you can't get this guy out whacking him in his head, man. You can't. He's, he has not been stopped, as he said in the post-fight interview, in the uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship uh, organization slash promotion. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta take his leg out, blow his leg out, and do them with low calf kicks or something because he was he was hitting him. But we need to be, and but ultimately, look, I'm not gonna pick apart his um, excellent performance because the speed, the angles, uh, you know. But for his next opponent. Uh, and any future opponents who really want to knock this dude out, you you, you know, TKO, but not even knock him out because you clearly can't. Uh, well, <laughs> this brings on another point. My guy takes a lot of punishment still, you know, when he's in these fights. He's young. He's definitely young. But how much can a body take abuse by, especially brain trauma? He's, you know... He's sensible enough. We don't hear anything crazy in regards to speech patterns, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I'm just looking. For, I'm looking out for his longevity, but we need to invest in body shots, legs, the lower calves. That's the only way you're going to get this guy out, man. It's going to all. It's going to be a three or five round war. Moving on to our <clears throat> pardon self to Armin Sarukian. Yeah, who made his debut fighting the current champion Islam Mach Mak Mak Makayev? Is that it? Yeah, um, very competitive back and forth. Lost by is it a split decision? Yeah, split decision victory. Came out and did his thing, man. Third round, it was very competitive. This Yaquim, Yaquim, whatever, uh, Jaquim, a uh, Sylvia. Ooh, I think he had his moments. He definitely had his moments, but Armand is 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 a problem, man. And as per most of these guys, a lot of these guys from that region, no one wants to fight them, man. Which is crazy. They've got they should be forcing. Mm, of, mm, can you force an an alleged independent contractor to take about? That's what the issue is. But come on, man! Like this is this is uh this is the whole reason they're they're in there, man. And at the same time, I know you've got to try and get the matchups which you want, but you ain't gonna get no straps, the fan base, the money without fighting. Let's just get it done, man. Let's get it damn done. Excellent performance. Um. And good, good um, performance from the Brazilian, man. Good performance from the Brazilian. Let's go straight now to the opener. Another. Uh, Nicholas Darby uh, took on Muslim Selikov. And that was an excellent back and forth. A very good back and forth. Um, Nicholas pushed the pace. He just pushed the pace. Kept on pushing the pace. Um, getting caught, caught, caught with some teeps up the middle. Some, you know, some hooks and stuff. 
um, but he was very diligent. Footwork was amazing. Power shots were coming in. The, the 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 commentators kept on talking about how big he was in comparison. They look pretty much the same size to me. Maybe someone in the comments can co you know can correct me or give their opinion. But they look the same size. They kept on saying how massive he was for the weight class, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whatever. His performance was real good. Um, Muslim Salakov is is good himself. It's the gas tank. He just got wore out with the clinch by round three. Midway through, he was looking, well, even before midway through, he was looking up at the clock and stuff. Um, conditioning, conditioning, conditioning. He's a, a very proficient fighter. Uh, the takedown defense was good of sorts, but he shouldn't have been able to get taken down so many times. So, yeah, um, didn't watch the whole cards. UFC, I'm not into these damn flipping. Well, I'm really not into these Apex events. Some good performances can take place, but it's just taken away. It's taken away from from the whole thing, man, with you guys as being cheap. It's silly. It's absolutely silly. And, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that, all the rest of the good stuff. Bonjour.